alive and alert on the north side of the dirt. It is your man D Real coming at you with another B Real with D Real, where edutainment is what I do. And we're going to be doing some Black Panther stuff because I saw a Black Panther article today that I feel like, hmm, long overdue. But before we get off into it, non product placement. I'm going to need y'all to do what you always do for me. Comment, like, subscribe. Ooh. <clears throat> Goodness. Comment, like, subscribe, and share the Be Real with D-Real page so that when new material comes out, you get it. If you digging what a brother's shoveling, put some dirt in my bucket. Comment, like, subscribe, and share the page. This is T, by the way. Um, I'm supposed to have that kind of effect. But anywho, um, Let's get to this article. Now, here's one I bet you thought you'd never see. Um, like everything I was saying last week and a couple of other content providers were saying last week was just us. Now, here's the question I ask about this article. Does, C does CBR glean its material from YouTube or vice versa? Anywho, this was published 12 hours ago today by Timothy Donahue. Um, I got a homie that passed last year, last name Donahue. Rest in peace, Jimmy. Anyway, um, this article calls itself being a spoiler, but let's see. Uh, tell me if this ain't some stuff your mans in them done already said to y'all. Okay? This is CBR, so Mind all the comic stuff popping around. All right, here we go. Follow, 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 follow. The popularity of Black Panther has seen a tremendous increase in the past several years with his role in the Marvel Cinematic Universe turning the former CB lister into an A-list star. Unfortunately, the comic books themselves have not matched this with many of them outright contradicting the success of T'Challa, spelled incorrectly, on the big screen. This has reached a fever pitch with the character's latest run, which sees him suffering a series of debilitating and humiliating defeats. Hmm, where have you heard that before? While the MCU has propped Black Panther back up, by killing him? The comics have increasingly broken him down and mocked what he stands for, given that he's inarguably Marvel's premier Black hero. This is absolutely a situation that needs to be rectified. Here's a look at the several blemishes that, Black Pan that the Black Panther property has sustained over the years and how this treatment can be turned around. What'd that say, y'all? Marvel has devalued the Black Panther. Now, y'all done heard me saying this for the longest time, so maybe it means something now that you're seeing it in an article. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't just me whistling Dixie or 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 or, or getting up on my pedestal and 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 preaching the T'Challa sermon. You you see it right here. CBR saying it. So. How much longer can it be before, well, you know, as you can see, the humiliating trouncing that Captain America put on him. And and, and remember, I told y'all, you're only as good as your last win. When was the last time? T'Challa got a win. Damn, John Ridley. Damn. As the hero reached new heights in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Black Panther was diminished more and more in the Marvel Universe of comics. That's the 616. The run on the character's book from Ta-Nehisi Coates that began in 2016 was initially well-received well and a consistent seller. Facts. 
So much of this success needs to be laid at the feet of Brian Stelfreeze and his art as well. Also facts. The run definitely had its issues, one of which was how small a role Black Panther himself sometimes play in his stories. Facts yet again. As the tales continued to involve an intergalactic Wakandan space empire, it felt even more divorced from what made the character and the property special. Oh boy. <laughs> the current run on the book from John Ridley had only exacerbated these criticisms with many fans being upset at how it portrays T'Challa, spelled wrong again, and his world. The book is almost antagonistic toward T'Challa himself, with numerous characters belittling and criticizing him as he acts like a paranoid, antisocial dictator. Perhaps the biggest problem was Black Panther number 13 by John Ridley, German Peralta, Sebastian Chang, and VCs Joe Sabino involving a feud between Black Panther and Captain America, wherein the Sentinel of Liberty was written completely out of character, all the while beating Panther black and blue. This has left a sour taste in many readers' mouths, and it could see dwindling returns for the brand as a whole. This is the last uh, panel in issue number 13. This is what T'Challa is getting ready to do. He's getting ready to get down for the get down. Shuri, Tosin, Gentle, Omololo, um, he himself, and uh, company. <laughs> That's what we're going to call Buffalo Soldier them. Company. Um, Given his status in the movies, it's outright shocking the way Panther is handled in the comics. But he's dead in the movies. The obvious way to fix this would be to give him an excellent new run from a different creative team, but that's always easier said than done. After all, the Christopher Priest series is perhaps the standout long run on the character besides the Colts run, and it was published decades after the character's debut. While this is somewhat alarming given the character's current stature, it also shows a way in which things can be turned around for the Wakandan king. Priest's run, unlike some of those that came afterward, respected T'Challa and made him the star of the series. There were other characters who received reverence and respect, but at the end of the day, he was the star. Thus, there wasn't a constant belittling of him or a deluge of stories that put him in an almost antagonistic light. If anything, it showcased how great Black Panther could be as a solo character, and how much potential he had. Said potential is still largely unharvested, mainly due to the seeming restrictions that Marvel Comics has placed on the character, both in terms of his story and the talent behind him. Talk about you, John Ridley. Black Panther still has his best years ahead of him, but only if he is managed properly. That will require the iconography of a hero to be matched with fitting reverence at a creative level, ensuring that the hero ultimately triumphs amid any adversity. Bruh, this ain't a difficult one. I think uh, Mr. Donahue summed it up quite nicely. But he ain't said nothing that I haven't been saying in my videos since the John Ridley run on Black Panther began, and we started to notice a pattern of humiliation and dema uh, demasculation, emasculation with the character. Just punked and belittled and beat the brakes off of at every doggone turn. That is tiring to watch for a fan. How, how would Superman fans feel if Superman got his butt kicked every single issue and it's okay for a character to get his to get his butt kicked that's part of the hero's journey but can we move on from the getting his butt kicked part of the journey and give him something that looks somewhat respectable okay i've i've rocked with t'challa since 74 75 um 
he's taken some beat downs in his in his career, some serious beat downs, but he has always, always recouped from it. Let us see T'Challa like Batman fans get to see Batman. Let us see T'Challa like Superman fans get to see Superman. Dare I say it, let us see T'Challa like Captain America fans see Captain America. What do y'all think about this article? What do y'all think about was I I know what the people I rock with think about what's going on with T'Challa. But if you just want to chime in and, 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 and add something to it, or for you folks out there that are new rocking with me, come on in. And drop it in the comments. That's it for now. But I will be coming at you with another one of them other ones. And until I do, y'all be good. Be good to each other.